Hello Twin Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy check. Welcome to my channel, whether you're new or you're coming back, I appreciate you guys joining in and um, I'm really looking forward to getting this message across to you. Today's gonna be a quick reading. I know I've been promising that, but for sure I have a lot going on, so I'll make this a quick check, so just a classic check, what's going on with the energies and then starting with the Oracle deck. Um, to pull a card for each of the twins, then we'll move on to energy checks, and I also have Hermit Tarot to pull some messages between the twins. Okay, Let's see what we have for Divine Feminines first and foremost. What's happening? Okay, we have Miracles. Expect the wonders to emerge. I love this card. And notice that it says expect, which means that it's more about being than about doing at this time. You don't need to try too hard. Some of you I'm getting are burning the candle on both ends and uh, um, you know trying to do as much as possible, whatever the context is, but trying to cover a lot of different fronts and um, you know stay ambitious, pursue your dreams, all of those things. At this time, you're asked not to sweat it, not to, um, not to worry and not to try to make stuff happen. Just kind of let it flow and enjoy the process. For the masculines, we have the card card in the flow. Surprise, surprise. Everything is smooth sailing. <laughs> so mirroring energy for DMs today. It's also very much about noticing things, about flowing in that energy, in that space. And uh, I would also add being grateful for the experiences that we get on this journey. <sighs> okay, let's get to tarot. For the feminines, we have the Hierophant. For the masculines, three of wands, nice. Okay, let's, let me pull some clarifiers actually. Quick shuffle. We're gonna use the holographic deck again today. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can actually see the cards, but they are cool. <laughs> okay, so for higher fan, the clarifier is the star. Wow. Zero ones plus clarify, king of cups, gotcha. Bottom of the deck, by the way, the main deck had ten of cups, the clarifying deck has the sun, which is also kind of amazing. I mean, seriously, <laughs> what not to enjoy, right? That's what we're talking about. Follow the flow, follow the flow, right? Kind of emerge into it, have fun with it. And the more you're gonna emerge with it, the more uh, of a harmonious energy it will be, rather than if you are trying to go upstream. Um, so for feminines, we have uh, the higher fun clarified by the star. So divine feminines, are very confidently moving towards being the leader in their community, in their field, uh, in their family, in terms of um, grasping the idea of, uh, of healing, of happiness, and being the best version of yourself. That's what I'm getting here. So this is this actually gives people hope. So the Hierophant is all about, like the Hierophant is in someone in public, right? They're talking about this uh, religious leader, right? Somebody who is preaching to the audience. And I'm getting that with these cards, whatever you have to speak to the world about, and if you're not doing that, that that's your cue to start doing it more. The idea is that when you do it, and even if you're telling your own story, which is part of the big uh, knowledge and learning for people to pursue, uh, it's giving people hope for a better tomorrow. It's giving them confidence that they can better their lives and themselves, which is a big deal. Hope is a big deal. For the masculines, we have three of ones clarified by King of Cups. So masculines are trying to attract a more mature love into their life. Some of them do not really think about um, a specific person, or in some cases it's a specific person, but not necessarily divine feminine, because they are in a different relationship. And of course, like 
intuitively we're trying to get to a better place with the person that we're with right now but the truth is for some of them it's actually um, bigger than just a romantic partner it goes to friends and uh, being supported and recognized uh, in their close circle right so it's a wide, bit wider circle than just uh, one person uh, but yeah, the idea is that Divine Masculine is actually sending out that intention. It's not just... Like, that's what... They, that's the signal to the universe. Because they're ready for this next level of love. They're tired of uh, artificial relationships I'm getting. For being with someone or having to be friends with someone because that is going to open some doors or because that's what is expected in society you know, jumping through hoops and making friends with the right people, they are tired of it. And they want to be able to show their true self in those connections, in those relationships. And somehow Divine Masculine see that that is going to help them in other, in, in, uh, in pursuing their dreams as well, right? Because we cannot be, uh, you know, authentic with ourselves, but then... Uh, artificial with someone else and expect that this is going to be a balanced life, right? It doesn't work that way. It still shows in your energy. It still throws you off the balance. If you're like, yeah, I know what it's really about, but then when I go to public, I'm going to put on a face because X, Y, Z, and then you have your clarification, right? Your uh, reasoning. That's not going to work. It might be like a temporary band-aid, a patch, especially if there is a fear of making radical changes in life. Because when we start going out to the world more with, and with this zero, once you see the person is like letting the bird out uh, with a message, right? If we're stepping out into the world, being the new selves, especially if it's very different from what we used to do, or it's different to what our local culture is expecting of us, then it's it's... It starts breaking those old foundations, and that includes relationships, jobs, uh, maybe some public respect. I don't know, with social media, you can refer that to, I don't know, some followers and likes, right? How, what, like what people say about you online. And to some people, it is important as part of their uh, image, their persona, and uh, their like, career, their path, right? At least public path. So it could be scary. So complying to those norms for a while could be like a temporary patch before making a bigger stride, like until you feel more comfortable with the divine masculines. Okay, and finally messages. Let's start with messages from DMs to DFs. What do they have to say today? Okay, anything else? Oh. A lot of messages, yes. Okay. Oh, wow. We have something from yesterday. <sighs> so the first one was gossip only hurts more. Yeah, that's part of that artificial persona, actually. Uh, but it's helping them see what's real and what's not. So uh, if you know that your masculine is uh, struggling because of some gossip, just know that it's serving a really valuable lesson for their life. I want to get you drunk. <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with you and I'm sorry. So Divine Masculines feel like, feels like they're smitten today with their passion, um, with remorse for how things have been not going right, for being scared because of possible gossip, right? It's like, yeah, you know, you're so special to me, but I'm not ready to do X, Y, Z with you or I don't want to confirm our connection publicly because people will start gossiping because some things will go down that cannot be undone and I'm not ready for it yet, right? And they are sorry about it. So it's still work in progress. They're still not there, not quite there. But at least they acknowledge that it's it's their fear speaking. It's not the right way to go, but that's what they're able to do at this time. What about feminines to masculines? What do we have here? Quite a few as well. I sometimes wonder if you care. 
I feel the same way. <laughs> I'm terrified. Wait. And I'm obsessed with your body. Yeah, I'm very mirror and energies today. So also it's like a lot of passion and love mixed with fear. And it's quite almost like, okay, okay, are we ready for this? I don't feel like I'm ready for this, right? So it's still processing certain lessons, certain patterns to get into the more authentic, higher version of yourself for both of the twins. Okay, I think I'm gonna finish it here. Uh, thank you so much for joining, guys. And uh, I'm actually gonna have my new setup on Thursday, so tomorrow is probably still gonna be old one, but we'll see. If I get too excited, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> that will be a review. <laughs> but yeah, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, to subscribe to my channel, to leave a comment. I'll be looking forward to your feedback. Bye, everyone.